What's going on you guys? So today, today I'm going to be talking about a TV. When I got the PlayStation 5, I had a regular, you know, 1080p LED TV, which to be honest, it was all right. I thought I could get away with it. You know, I was just going to keep it and just use that. To be honest, it ruined the quality. The quality of the game was absolutely horrendous. I couldn't play on it, you know. You couldn't get all the features from, you know, having a high quality TV from playing the PlayStation 5. So you want to make sure you have a good TV when you get the PS5. To be honest with you, the upgrade is worth it. There's different ones you can get out there. Just make sure you can at least get something with 4K. You don't have to get the HDMI 2.1 for the 120 frames per second and all that cool stuff. But you could get that too as well. There's different options out there like I said. But this is Sony's version. Sony designed this one basically for the PlayStation 5. This supports HDMI 2.1. If you don't know what HDMI 2.1 is, it's just an updated version or an upgrade of HDMI 2.0 allowing more information to be passed through the HDMI cable, you know, giving you a lot more features. And the most important one to us is 120 frames per second. Getting 120 frames per second from a game, if you don't know what, if you don't know nothing about, you know, 120 frames per second, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, all that stuff, if, you, if this sounds like jargon to you, just, just know that the higher the, you know, frames that can be, that your game plays at, or that you can, you know, play your games at, the better it is, you know, the smoother the gameplay, the faster, you know, characters appear, you know, if they're, if they're teleporting from one place to another, you know, a sort and things like that, you know, fast moving cars and games. You know, I'll show you guys in a bit here because I'm gonna hop on this TV right now and show you guys what it looks like. And then during the gameplay, I'll also show you guys, you know, what the 1080p one looked like. And then I'll let you guys be the judge of which one you think, you know, works best with the PlayStation 5. It's going at a huge discount right now. I think there's almost a 600 Canadian dollar discount right now. I don't know where it is or I don't know how it is across the world, but I'm pretty sure there's a discount on Sony's website for this TV as well. So this could be worldwide, so make sure y'all go check it out if you're looking for this. I've got the 65 inch one, and I'm gonna show you guys right now how it looks. I'm gonna do another video tomorrow on the Nano Cell TV. I'm gonna talk about that right now. LG's Nano Cell TV, which is another alternative you can go for that does 120 frames per second as well. There's not a lot of games that can play 120 frames per second right now. Call of Duty is a great one. Dirt 5 is another one. There's a, there's a few of them on the PS5. There's not a lot, but there will be a lot more down the line. So you might as well just get one you need 4k for that man you don't need it but it's highly recommended you know at least from me that's it man let me just let's get into this and let's have some fun I'm gonna play some you know some games I'm, I'm gonna play spider-man most of all I'm gonna play on fidelity mode and then performance mode so perform fidelity mode is 30 frames per second fidelity mode is 60 frames per second so that's the best way I could illustrate it for you 